Reverse Flash is a key part of DC's Flashpoint storyline, but Oba Erdogan's absence in The Flash is beneficial for both the movie and the villain. Reverse Flash's absence in The Flash despite the movie's Flashpoint influences is a bold but inspired decision. The Flash features Ezra Miller's Barry Allen traveling back in time to save his mother, which unleashes a chaotic butterfly effect on the DC multiverse and forces the Flash to accept destiny and make peace with his mother's death. This is the basic outline of one of the Flash's most iconic DC Comics storylines, the 2011 crossover arc Flashpoint. Whereas Barry Allen's opposing forces in the Flash are the corrupted future version of his younger self and destiny itself, Barry's main villain in the original Flashpoint comic storyline is Oba Erdogan aka Reverse Flash who kills Barry's mother and sets in motion the events that lead the Flash to travel back in time. Flashpoint cemented Reverse Flash as Barry Allen's arch-nemesis, as his cruel actions not only torment Barry but also affect the whole DC universe. While Reverse Flash's absence in the Flash's time travel plot may seem like a disservice to the character, the decision to skip him altogether is actually beneficial both for the villain and for future live-action Flash appearances. The Flash juggles many variables. It serves as The Flash's first ever live-action movie, explains the DC multiverse, reintroduces Michael Keaton's Batman, gives Ben Affleck's Batman a potentially definitive goodbye, and leaves the door open for the new DC universe to reboot the franchise in the near future. While Reverse Flash could have been revealed to be the mysterious murderer who killed Barry Allen's mother, introducing a nude so villain would have oversaturated the movie. Not only would The Flash need to explain Reverse Flash's motivations, but it would also need to devote a large chunk of its screen time to the villain's characterization, taking away valuable time from Barry Allen's own story. Without Reverse Flash, Barry Allen's conflict and the Flash lies solely upon his own decisions. The chaos Barry Allen causes across the DC multiverse can't be attributed to an external figure, and even the monstrous speedster at the heart of the Flash's time loop, Dark Flash, is a direct consequence of Barry's stubborn attempt to change history. Instead of defeating a villain to save the day, Ezra Miller's Barry Allen needs to come to terms with his past and move on, which makes the plot much more intimate. Reversed Flash also benefits from skipping the Flash, as his first live-action appearance has been saved from becoming a rushed attempt to include him just for the sake of comic accuracy. Although another Flashpoint live-action adaptation likely won't come in a long time, a future Flash movie can take more time to develop Reversed Flash as a compelling villain. James Gunn and Peter Safran's DC Universe can build the rivalry between Barry Allen and Oba Erdogan gradually and show the nuances in Reverse Flash's cruelty before a big showdown between the two speedsters. Additionally, Reverse Flash's absence in Andy Muschietti's The Flash provides more breathing room between Oba Erdogan's live-action appearances. While Reverse Flash is yet to make his big-screen debut, he was the main villain of the CW's The Flash show for nine years. After so many clashes between Grant Gustin's Barry Allen and the elusive Arrowverse version of Reverse Flash, a story focused on Barry Allen's relationship with the Speed Force helps the Flash movie stand apart from the show. A reasonable break will likely allow the Flash's rivalry with Reverse Flash flourish and live action in the near future.